Hello and thank you for watching this Dawson Tools instructional video on the DIR275 infrared thermometer. Let's take a look at the unique features of this thermometer. Like all infrared thermometers, this thermometer can measure surface temperature on objects at a distance. To turn on the thermometer, press the trigger. When you press the trigger, the thermometer begins in whatever mode was last used. So press S temp to put the thermometer in surface temperature mode if necessary. Point the thermometer at the object to be tested and the display will show its surface temperature. Once you release the trigger, the reading will be held on the display. The circle of laser pointers show the target spot that the thermometer's infrared sensor can see. Keep this in mind when taking measurements and make sure the spot is only on the target object to avoid errors in measurement. The thermometer's emissivity can be set to one of three settings, 0 0.75, 0 0.85, and 0.95. The default setting is high emissivity, or 0.95. To change the emissivity settings, press the emissivity button. The icon on the left of the display will change to indicate the change in emissivity settings. Continuing to press the button will cycle through the emissivity settings. The default unit for temperature is degrees Fahrenheit. To switch to degrees Celsius, hold the emissivity button and the thermometer switches to Celsius measurement. Hold the button again to switch back to Fahrenheit. There are two unique modes on this infrared thermometer, thermal bridge warning and mold warning modes. Let's take a look at the thermal bridge mode. The meter comes with an ambient temperature and relative humidity sensor on the top of the meter. This is used in conjunction with the surface temperature readings to indicate the possibility of a thermal bridge located at the target spot. A thermal bridge is created when materials that are highly conductive or non-insulated come in contact, allowing energy, usually in the form of heat or cold, to travel through them. The DIR275 compares the surface temperature at the target to the ambient temperature in the room. If there is a large enough difference between these two readings, it may indicate the possibility of a thermal bridge. To enter thermal bridge mode, Turn the thermometer on and press the T-bridge button. Once you press the trigger, the display will show the surface temperature of the target object along with the ambient temperature. If the two readings are relatively close to each other, the indicator above the display will turn green, indicating there is a low probability of a thermal bridge present. If the readings are far enough apart, the indicator will turn either yellow or red indicating some probability or a high probability, respectively, that a thermal bridge is present. The mold warning mode compares the surface temperature of the target to the dew point temperature of the room to indicate the possibility of mold forming at the target. The dew point temperature is the temperature at which the moisture in the air condenses, thus creating moisture on the surface of objects within that area. The DIR275 takes these two temperature readings and compares them to indicate the possibility of mold forming at the target. To enter mold warning mode, turn the thermometer on and press the mold button. Once you press the trigger, the display will show the surface temperature of the target object along with the ambient temperature, relative humidity, and dew point temperature. If the surface temperature and dew point temperature are sufficiently apart from each other, the indicator above the display will turn green, indicating that there is a low probability of mold at the target. If the two temperatures are moderately close or very close to each other, the indicator will either turn yellow or red, indicating some probability or high probability, respectively, that there may be mold at the target. One thing of note with these two modes. The thermometer cannot indicate the actual presence of a thermal bridge or indicate the actual presence of mold spores. These modes are simply designed as an indication of the possibility that a thermal bridge or mold may be present and should only be taken as such. Thank you for watching this instructional video on the DIR275. For more information on this and any of our other products, visit our website.
at www.dawsontools.com.